my parents are both union members of the, my father a carpenter and my mother a teamster. And so everything that had to do with union mobilization participation was not something that was romantic or anything like that. It was just something that my family did. However, professionally, I began when I was 20 years old. So I just turned 48. So I'm going on my 28th year of this being my profession um, yeah. of work, yeah. right? And I think that what is important to state is that I was raised in California Central Valley that has a population that is just as large as the state of, a state of Wisconsin. And so when we're talking about rural areas of California, I think it's important to state that for us, just like what was just being discussed by Eliza is that we were for a very long time viewed as a conservative stronghold. So the mm -hmm. Democratic Party didn't put any resources into engaging voters or even just fighting for our families. And so then my work was, it's intuitive for us to work on issues of climate change, water, jobs, jobs in the economy, education, immigration with a path towards citizenship. By nature, because of what we've seen with our families, we, people like myself who were raised in the Central Valley are inherently progressive, but we didn't have a vehicle. We didn't have a home for where or how we could actually funnel that energy. And so that was the genesis of CNC, that we were not just going to stand by and that we knew the demographics were in our favor, but we needed to engage. And so we are celebrating our 11th year this year. And I think that the way that I'll close that answer to that question is that people will say we needed, or I will say we needed to level the playing field. And that's what we could do through the census. And we could do that through redistricting. And people have asked me, has redistricting been successful in California? And what my answer will be, number one, Devin Nunes decided to retire rather than run for re-election. That's number one, right? Because he was not gonna be able to get away with his new district, with not having town halls, with not engaging with his new constituents because the district, because of independent congressional, I'm sorry, the Independent California Redistricting Commission, there was no gender gerrymandering in California. And so the next thing that I'll say is that we also have for the first time, three majority Latino congressional districts in the San Joaquin Valley, two of them poised to flip. And so I think that those are the things that I will say um, when we're talking about the work that we do, elections are mobilizing for the moment, but CNC was founded to organize, to build a movement. And that's what it is that I'm really happy to be here with everybody. Wow. and to see that there are people who share our values outside of the Central Valley.